when a 16-year-old boy was assaulted for wearing a MAGA cap in a Texas Swataburger, allegedly by a 30-year-old man named Kino Jimenez, this probably should have been a cultural moment where we all checked ourselves. After all, this was a teenager, not even an adult, being physically accosted simply for wearing a piece of political regalia. Surely nobody could rationalize this, right? Oh, sorry, forgot this was 2018. That means that everything, up to and including a 16-year-old having his hat stolen and a drink thrown in his face, is fair game. First there were unverified reports from local San Antonio media, picked up by other news outlets, that the young man had been engaging in racist talk before the attack. Those wonderful unsubstantiated slices of blaming an underage victim seem to have come from a single witness and were somewhat retracted and heavily qualified by the original source. Although other media outlets had no problem repeating what sounds like the same single source account, whether or not that's true, however, doesn't matter to some people. In fact, one TMZ reporter thinks that a MAGA hat is reason enough for a 16 year old to be assaulted. And CNN contributor Mark Lamont Hill thinks that's hysterical. It all began when Van Lathan, currently on the 15 minutes of fame clock for his contentious TMZ interview with Kanye West, said he was perfectly happy with anyone wearing the trademark piece of Trump paraphernalia being physically assaulted. Wish I could take the high road, Lathan responded to the original video on July 4th. But your MAGA hat reads like a swastika to me, so um. Yeah, maybe I'm no longer a decent person. Melania Trump's love for America, especially as an immigrant of this country has been evident from the moment she became our first lady. She has shown more patriotism and respect than her predecessor, Michelle Obama, namely to our troops who were disregarded for eight years under the Obama administration. However, there's nothing that she can do that impresses the left and isn't met with harsh criticism. She was reminded of that on the nation's birthday this year when she made an incredible most to recognize Independence Day and was immediately brutalized for it because of one word. Barack and Michelle Obama couldn't be bothered to send a meaningful message to the country they once presided over, which seems to prove how they really feel about the American people. Melania took the time to share her sentiments and gratitude but the incessantly hateful left didn't see it that way. Instead, they took issue with one insignificant mistake and used it in an attempt to make her look worse than Michelle Obama who didn't say anything at all on the holiday. One of the most incredible things about our current first couple is how personable both the president and first lady are. They don't place themselves on higher ground than the people in this country they are working. They're relatable and that's what makes them great leaders. Unintentionally proving that she's real to other people, Melania, made a minor mistake with a single letter in a single word within her 4th of July message on Twitter. It happens to all of us who tweet on the go and share before scrutinizing every fine detail of what we were posting online. This microscopic oversight that was immediately remedied with a fresh, corrected post apparently ended up being a gift to liberals on our nation's birthday since it provided them ample ammunition to assault our first lady with. Amo Mama reports what Melania did and points out that she actually wasn't the only one dot but seems to be the only one being attacked for it. On Wednesday, the American people took the time to celebrate their independent stay with many taking to social media. A number of people found themselves spelling the word independence wrong. One such person who spelled independence as independence was First Lady Melania Trump. She quickly picked up her wrong tweet and fixed it while others failed to notice their mistake. The hashtag Independence Day quickly spread on Wednesday as the U.S. celebrated their patriotic holiday. Some people kept misspelling the word until the hashtag was autocorrected to the wrong version by Twitter. Among those that used the wrong hashtag was the U.S. Air Force, the city of Boston, the Canadian Space Agency and First Lady Melania Trump, even the all-star pitcher, Justin Verlander, and the state of New Jersey all fell for the same trap. Trump originally tweeted Happy Hash Independence Day May God bless this great nation and all the people who protect it. Apostrophe. However, eight minutes later the tweet was removed and the one with the correctly spelled Independence Day was uploaded. Despite the quick fix, the spelling mistake didn't go unnoticed. Many social media users made fun of those that failed to pick up the spelling mistake. Instead of being patriotic, 
It seemed that some Americans were celebrating a day that had something to do with dancing. Oh, America, you've actually successfully gotten hash Independence Day trending and nobody in the thread is noticing that independence is spelled wrong, a Twitter user wrote. Despite the effort by people to alert others to the spelling mistake, it was still found in serious and thought-provoking posts. It appears that the safest and easiest way to celebrate the day is by writing Happy Fourth of July. Apostrophe at least with that statement, it's not easy to misspell anything. It's pretty despicable for a major media outlet like USA Today to put Flotus on blast for a simple mistake on the 4th of July. That's divisive and was probably intentional. This proves one thing, that if the worst that can be said about Melania is a minor spelling error then she's in a great place. Let's look back at Michelle's 4th of July post when she was Flotus. Had Melania done this? The scrutiny would have been endless, but for Michelle, it was considered cute and folksy. There was no nod to America, our heroes, gratefulness for a free country, the land she supposed to love. A simple happy 4th of July, everyone and then her dogs fighting over something won the floor. Who is everyone? Michelle? Does she mean the American people or someone else? A little sincerity goes a long way. Michelle showed none and was rather disrespectful in her message. Melanie accidentally added in a where there should have been an E, but at least she was really sharing her appreciation for America. Unlike Michelle's message, 